good Josh Boy Ross back at again with another video so apparently WWE have announced the competitors for the new world heavyweight championship tournament and uh, we got to talk about the list some of it's quite confusing to be honest with you and it's going to be interesting to see how things play out but I do have some, con some concerns about what's about to happen here first and foremost for those who uh, don't know um, it'll be competitors from Raw and SmackDown competing this week to see who will be uh, advancing in the tournament for the championship. Um, the only thing is, we just did the draft. So it's one of those things where obviously this title is going to be the Raw Championship, the Raw brand's top championship. And... It's one of those things where it's like even SmackDown competitors can compete for it. You would think it would just be Raw exclusive competing for it. But no, there are going to be some individuals on SmackDown competing for it. So if they end up winning or advancing, it's, it's one of those type of things like someone from SmackDown hypothetically could win it. Then they go right back to Raw if they just got drafted. It's... Uh, this whole draft situation is definitely convoluted. There's a lot of inconsistencies when you really break it down. Uh, I I don't know how this is going to play out, but we're going to see. So let's check this out. This is on, uh, I believe, officially WWE's uh, uh, .com website. Competitors revealed for the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. All right. And here... Here is the list. Since the World Heavyweight Championship was introduced a few weeks ago, the buzz has been electric with uh, much of the WWE Universe wondering who could be the first champion. The wait is now over as 12 superstars have been announced to compete for the title. Uh, the competitors include Cody Rhodes. That's an interesting one. We're going to talk about that. Damian Priest, I'm okay with. Finn Balor, I'm okay with. Seth they always got to add the freaking Rollins. I'm okay with. Shinsuke Nakamura. Don't have a problem. The Miz. The Miz. What else? Then for the SmackDown side of things, AJ Styles. I'm okay with. Austin Theory. That's fine. Bobby Lashley. That's fine. Edge. I really like that. I really do like that. Rey Mysterio. Okay with. And Sheamus. WWE. Chief Content Officer Triple H outlined the format of the tournament in the WWE Backlash Press Conference and noted the title will be exclusive to Raw regardless of the winner's brand, which, once again, is kind of one of those type of situations they can kind of make up the rules as, as they go. Who will be uh, in the match to crown the new World Heavyweight Championship at WWE Night of Champions? Find out when the tournament begins on Monday night, uh, on Monday, uh, this Monday on Raw and concludes Friday on SmackDown. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I, I really want to talk about this. Here's the thing. On the Raw side, mostly everybody on that list I'm okay with. I would probably take out Miz, put somebody else in. Um, on the SmackDown side of things, uh, I would have liked to see LA Knight in this tournament. I think that would have been cool. To, you know, Obviously, the people love him, so they want to see more of him. Would he have won? No. I, obviously, he would not have won, but had a good showing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, beat somebody, make it to the next round or whatnot. Like, had at least a decent showing where people can kind of, you know, get to see him more. So, on the SmackDown side of things, I definitely would have loved to see LA Knight maybe in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you could have. I, I figured they were going to put Austin Theory in there. So, it would have been cool to see LA Knight in there. But I'm okay with, for the most part, the list that's on there for the SmackDown side. But we got to go back to Raw on the Raw side of things. The one person I just I just don't think should be in there, bro. I'm just being honest with you. Is Cody. Cody should not be in this tournament. I don't even know why he would want to be in this tournament. I get why he's in there. Because he's one of the top stars on Raw. But he shouldn't be in this tournament. If I'm Cody, I'm like, I don't want to be in this tournament. No disrespect to the title. I get it. You know maybe trying to keep the image of this new world heavyweight championship you know looking good but at the end of the day if i'm cody i go on screen i go on air after you know talking about brock lesnar and say i you know i i renounce my spot from the tournament 
I do not want to be a part of this tournament. I think it's an awesome opportunity. And I think someone else deserves that spot. But there's only one championship. There's only one championship that I want to go for. And that's Roman Reigns. I got to write my story. I got to fix the story. I got to complete the story. That's, that's who I want to go for. That's who I need to be. I need to become the WWE Universal uh, Heavyweight Champion, whatever you want to call it. Now, granted, this puts the World Heavyweight Championship uh, as a, you know, the second place title, which I hate to admit it, it is the second place title. It, it is. It, it, it's unfortunate, but they booked themselves in the situation. It's a beautiful belt, but it's the second place belt. It's the second place belt. Compared to Roman's uh, WWE and Universal Championship. It's, this, well, it's really kind of the third place belt if you want to be technical. Because they have three belts. But that's neither here nor there. I will say this though. That would be interesting if he did that. I doubt that he does. And if he does go through, he's not winning it. Because I don't want him to win it. There's no point in winning it. And I think what they're possibly going to do. And I hope it's not the case. But I don't think the Brock and Cody feud is over. I don't. I know a lot of you guys were, uh, you know, wouldn't feel in the ending of their match they had at Backlash, which I understand it did kind of come off anticlimactic, but Cody did get the win, but it's the way he got the win. He, you know what I'm saying? He kind of okie doke Brock. He didn't beat Brock. He beat him, technically. He beat him, but he didn't, like, pin him. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think they're probably going to run it back most likely. Um, since uh, I believe Night of Champions is in Saudi, and you know, you know that Saudi money is gonna be hitting different, especially when they want Brock on the show. They're gonna want Brock on the show, so obviously, um, I can see them running it back. I I don't want to see it. I don't. If they do run it back, it needs to be once again Cody winning. Cody shouldn't lose. Anytime soon, at least not that, not to Brock. Um, and honestly, honestly, I, I do think the situation is probably going to be Brock is going to interfere in the tournament. He's going to cost Cody the match. That's probably what's going to happen. I hope it doesn't happen. Um, I hope this is just some weird fantasy booking that I'm talking about right now. But I just, I can see WWE trying to extend the feud a little bit longer. Um, but I don't, I don't even think Cody should even be in this tournament that's just my personal opinion hopefully he does say hey I, I want out there's only one championship I want he said it on Smackdown I'm going to finish the story with Roman so if you're going to finish the story with Roman then this he shouldn't even want to be in this tournament that's all I'm saying that that's about it honestly the the competitors in here I don't really have a problem with I would probably take out Miz and put somebody else in. Let me know down below who y'all would take for Miz's spot. I would put somebody else in Miz's spot. And I would also probably take out Sheamus, even though Sheamus does deserve a title uh, per, uh, opportunity at some point or go for it. I would have loved for LA Knight to be in that position. I think that would have been fantastic in my personal opinion. And I do like the fact that two of the Judgment Day members are in, in this in the tournament. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays off, too. It's going to be very good. I don't know if they're going to end up having to face each other. But I would like to see Damian Priest go far into the tournament, too. So I don't know. We're going to see. There, there's there's some stories they can come up with, especially on the Raw side of things. It's just the only drawback for me is Cody going in this tournament when he should be focusing only on getting Roman Reigns and righting the wrongs that we saw at WrestleMania. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys okay with this? the list of people that are in the tournament on Raw and on the SmackDown side of things? Also, how do you guys feel about Cody Rose being in this tournament? Do you think he's going to, you know, do you think he's going to win it? Or do you think he's going to get screwed out of it? Maybe by Brock Lesnar and they continue to feud. Let me know down below. And also, how do y'all feel about LA Knight not being in there? Because I do think he deserves to be in there. So we'll see. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150k and I'm still on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Channel of the World. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.